on YouTube, this is Sam from Team Samurai X on here, and today guys, I'm coming at you with my Light Sworn deck profile for the November 6, 2017 ban list. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and of course guys, as I progress to the deck profile, I'll be explaining to you guys some of the card choices and the reason why I play them, and it's going to be a pure Light Sworn deck profile with some supporting engines in the deck, okay? You guys know that pure Light Sworn in today's metagame, it's not really too compatible. It's still really good if you're able to tutor out with J uh, JD as quickly as possible, but there's a lot of cards in the deck that's able to help you mill cards and actually help you get access into Minerva as quickly as possible. And you guys probably all know what engine I'm talking about, but I'll explain to you guys all that once I progress to the video. And you guys all know that Light Storms is one of my favorite archetypes of all time, and I love the way that you're able to sack with this deck. This deck is just very versatile. You have access to Synchro Summoning, Link Summoning, and even XC Summoning as well. So bringing out cards like Omega and also Minerva, this deck is actually very fun to play with. To actually, if you were to mill cards like Wolf and Felice, you know, it's like Sack Swarms, you know what I mean? Like Light Storms is just a really fun deck to actually play overall. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get started. Start off with a monster real quick. You want to play, of course, Triple Boss Man himself, Judgment Dragon, Triple Copies. You guys don't know how powerful JD is. Is if you control four more Light Sworn monsters with different names in the graveyard, you're able to special this card from your hand. One, it's a 3,000 beat stick, and two, it just nukes the entire board. So, getting rid of back rows and also problematic monsters in the field, Judge of Dragon has no problem of doing so. This card's a really powerful card. The fact that it's just a 3,000 beat stick to push uh, for damage, it's just really awesome. And you know, next off, for the uh, sacking aspect of the deck, Triple Wolf, uh, you guys all know that if this card gets smelled to the graveyard off cards like Minerva, Judge of Dragon, or any card effects, cards like Foolish Burial, Get a special mana 2100 body from the graveyard, which helps you get access into Minerva and also helps you get access into Omega if you already have cards like Raiden on the field, which is really cool. So, Triple Wolf. Next off for you know your single handily one of the best normal summons of the deck triple Raiden uh, handle the light swords you know you mill two cards uh, during the main phase and you mill two cards during the end phase a total of just milling four cards to the graveyard in one turn which is really amazing so and it's also a tuner which helps you get access into your omega next off for your combo extender cards cards like Illumina is just really good in the deck to help you actually combo extend and to actually uh, you know get you access into more light sword monsters uh, to the graveyard for Judge and Dragons effect ditching uh, dead cards in your hands such as Felice and also Wolf to the Graveyard so that way you can special summon cards like Raiden is just really good so uh, Lumina is just one of your best combo extender cards in the deck and she's able to help you get access to cards like Michael uh, you guys all know that Lumina and, and Raiden equals a level 7 uh, Light Sworn Michael which is really cool so Triple Lumina Light Sworn Summoner next off uh, for your other uh, sacking aspect of the deck is uh, Double Felice Light Sworn Archer same effect as Wolf uh, you know if you mill uh, Felice off a monster effect you can special summon Felice from the Graveyard and then he has amazing ability as well to actually destroy any problematic monster on the field by using his effect to tribute itself, destroy the card, and then you melt three cards to the graveyard so that way they can feed more names in the grave for cards like Judge and Dragon. Next we're gonna play one Minerva, the Light Sworn Maiden. It's another name in the graveyard also if this card gets sent to the graveyard, the extra milk can actually be very uh, beneficial and sometimes I, I would actually sack uh, her effect by just milling the additional cards, milk cards like Wolf and Phillies, uh, which is pretty awesome as well. And, and it's also another name for Judge and Dragon in the graveyard. And last but not least, for our new addition to the deck, I'm actually playing one Jane Twilight Sworn General. Jane actually has an amazing effect where you're able to just banish a Light Sworn monster from a graveyard or in your hand to target one monster on the field. It loses the attack by 3 hundred for each level uh, so this card can actually help you beat over any problematic monster on the board which is really cool and it's a dark which is really important and I'll explain to you guys why uh, dark attributes are really important in the deck and last but not least um uh, one Raikou, Twilight, Twilight Sworn Fighter. Card is absolutely phenomenal. The fact that this effect is on target makes this card really, really good. It's better than Lila, in my personal opinion. Lila hits only spell and trap cards, while Raikou can actually hit any card on the field. And the effect is on target, uh, which is really amazing. And it's also a dark. When people play Lila before, we play Lila because it's a searchable uh, out to floodgates and things like that. Well, you have Raikou now. It's essentially the exact same thing, but Raikou can hit monsters and also hit spell and trap cards without having to target any of them, which is really cool. So, so that's pretty much it for the main monsters of Light Storms just go off to the supporting engines, which makes this deck have a higher ceiling to compete in today's metagame. All right, guys, next off to the supporting engines. A lot of you guys are going to hate me for this, and um, the hate co comments are coming. I already know, but uh, Triple Predator Plant Orphan Scorpio. This card is the nuts. Like, I don't understand why people hate on this card so much. Like, you guys have to understand that Pure Light Storms isn't really too explosive in today's metagame. Playing cards that actually increase the ceiling of Light Swarms makes Light Swarm a little bit better. And cards like Predator Plant Orphan Scorpio raises the ceiling of the deck because literally this card is a one card 
Minerva, which is absolutely broken. Gets you access to Brilliant Fusion, and Brilliant Fusion gets you access to Seraphonite. Seraphonite gets you access to additional normal summoning. So you can do so many things with this deck, and that's why I love about Orphan Scorpio, because this card literally increases the ceiling. It makes this deck more and more explosive than it is before. Uh, so Orphan Scorpio is definitely a must-off in the deck, guys. Please just definitely try it out. It's a one card Minerva, man. And for those of you who do not know the combo, I'll explain to you guys the combo again. Uh, for those of you who are newer to the channel. So Orphan Scorpio is definitely a must off. Good luck trying to play Light Swords without Orphan Scorpio, man. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a one card Minerva. Uh, you want to play, of course, Predator Plant, Darn Antonio Cobra. This card is probably the worst card to draw in the deck. It's worse than drawing the Garnet. Uh, so you never want to draw this card. But uh, next, we're going to play the one Garnet. Uh, for the Brilliant Fusion, of course. Next, we're going to play, of course, one Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. This is for the combo. Uh, one Trick Clown for the combo as well. So this engine right here, like, when you draw Orphan Scorpio, you literally get rid of the entire engine to the Great Ride within one turn, which is really cool. Orphan Scorpio gets you a Co Cobra. Cobra gets you Brilliant, Brilliant Sense, uh, basically Garnet to the Grave and also Trick Clown. And then uh, the two level threes gets you access to a uh, Thousand Blades and then you have a first turn Minerva. Next option I'll play, of course, one Fairy Tail Snow. Card is absolutely amazing. One of the best interruption cards of the deck. And, you know, it's really good when you mill it. Or if you already have Trick Clown in your hand, you can also send uh, Fairy Tail Snow to the Grave Ride off Brilliant Fusion, which is really good as well. So Fairy Tail Snow is there. One Gofu, it's a one card deco talker. Uh, why not, guys? If you're going second, you open up Gofu. You pretty much are in a great position where you're able to freely spam your extra deck, which is really cool. One Gofu, and then one of the best supporting cards of the deck, 100% makes this deck a little bit better. It's Triple Goblinburg. You know, you're playing so many level fours in the deck, and if you happen to draw Wolf, that's okay. You can go Goblinburg, summon Wolf. It's to actually help you, uh, what's it called, uh, unclog your hand so you, that way that you can have access to rank four XYZs quicker. And uh, if you ever happen to draw Heroic Challenger Excalibur, you still have targets in the deck for uh, Invoker, which you can special summon Goblinburg directly from the deck, which is not too bad as well. So, yeah, so Triple Goblinburg. Next, I'm going to play, of course, the One Maxi, the best hand trap in the game right now. And the new addition to the deck, I love this card, Black Lives Soldier Invoker at the beginning. I actually literally win games of this, and you guys are probably wondering, Sam, what are your targets for BLS? Well, your entire deck is light, and you have, you know, the three and one, which is dark. You also have Gofu. Uh, which is really amazing, and you also have the two Light Swarm monsters, which is really cool as well. So you have you have plenty of targets uh, for BLS, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and also, guys, once you already open up Orphid Scorpio, you already have dark targets in the graveyard for Black Lives Soldier. Anyway, you have plenty of dark targets. That is just really good, and this card can actually help game your opponent. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. So Black Soldier is just another tech that I actually like to play in the deck. And, uh, so one Maxi and BLS and double BLS to round off for monsters. Let's go off to the spells. I love the spell cards so much in the deck because like they're all good spell cards in the deck. There's no spell cards that are bad. It, whichever spell cards you open up, you're pretty much in a good position. You open up, uh, you know, Charge. Charge basically helps you mill your entire deck and gets you access into any Light Sword monster that you need directly from your deck to your hand. So Triple Charge. Uh, triple Solar Recharge helps you dig deeper to your deck as well. And sending uh, your dead wolves and also Felice to the Great Rider is also really good. So, uh, Triple Solar Recharge. And the card that you actually want to open up 100% of the time, you always want to see this card, is Triple Brilliant Fusion. This card helps you extend your combo plays even further and also helps get you access to Seraph Knight, which gives you the additional normal summon. And next off, for a one ofs, you're going to play four one ofs, okay? The Reinforce of the Army, Foolish Burial, Regeki, and also uh, the Soul Charge. Soul Charge in this deck is absolutely incredible. It's very explosive. Uh, you know, you can do so many things with Soul Charge. Uh, Reinforce of the Army gets you access to your Raiden and also gets you access to Goblinburg, which is really cool. Foolish Burial Hold dubs your Fairy Tale, your Wolf. And also sends cards to the graveyard like uh, Trick Clown and also uh, Heroic Challenger Excalibur as well. So that's pretty much it for the main deck. Let's go off to the side deck real quick. So for side deck, you're playing cards like Double Psalm Scolding. Really good cards to actually help you go first. Double Twin. Uh, going second cards. Cards like Emily Match is really beneficial uh, in, in a lot of matchups. Triple Ash Blossom. Really good cards to actually help combat today's metagame. And uh, I, I like playing Cherries for targets like ABC, Dragon Buster, and also Double Helix. And then you play Triple Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries uh, for those targets. Uh, Extra deck, very standard. You're going to play, of course, Double Minerva right here. Very powerful card. You, know, you want to open up this card as quickly as possible to send your resources to the grave. Uh, one number 41, Baguska. Okay, Baguska is really important. You can send on Baguska and just potentially just win the duel. Card's really powerful. I'm glad that we have access to this card. Uh, Dire Wolf. Uh, Vist Dweller, MX Saber Invoker uh, for the combo. And that's pretty much it for all the XCs that you play. You're going to play Double Siphon Lord Omega. I actually find myself on going to double a lot. Uh, Starlight helps you get rid of the entire board and potentially just even game your opponent with the life points burning. Uh, Michael, 
So Borlo Proxy, okay, Mrs. Radiant, Decode Talker, and last but not least, we're going to play the one Seraphonite to round off your extra deck. Really standard extra deck, guys. These cards are easily accessible with cards like, um, what's it called, like uh, Gofu. So that's pretty much it for the extra deck, guys. Let's go off to the one card combo real quick with the Orphan Scorpio. For those of you who already seen the combo, you guys don't have to see it, but this is for the newer players of the channel. Alright, guys, so this is why this card is really important in the deck, because it's a one card Minerva. And uh, here we go. So all you do is need to open up this one card and any other card in your hand. It can be any other card, okay? Well, you're having five cards in your hand, you're you're going to be able to resolve its effect, of course. So you, act, you uh, normal summon over for Scorpio, activate Scorpio's effect to ditch the monster that you have in the graveyard, any monster, special summon Darwin Tony Cobra directly from the deck. Once Darwin Tony Cobra is special summon off or for Scorpio, activate the effect to search Brilliant Fusion. Now what we're going to do is you're going to overlay these two, to the, uh, not to the graveyard, to the extra monster zone to summon up, of course, MX Saber Invoker. Activate Invoker's effect to attach an XYZ material to the graveyard to actually special summon Heroic Challenger Excalibur, I mean Thousand Blades, uh, directly from the deck. Okay, so you have these two cards right now. You're going to do is you're going to send these two to the grave since they're Earth Monsters to the graveyard to have access into Mrs. Radiant. So you're special summon Mrs. Radiant, okay, and yeah, it has two link pointers down this way. All right, so it's really important for that. Now I'm going to do is going to activate Brilliant Fusion. Okay, now, there's not enough space to be, but you're going to activate Brilliant Fusion to basically dump, uh, you know, Garnet and also Trick Clown to the graveyard. The special summon, of course, your Seraphonite. So I'll move this up here a little bit and Seraphonite. So what's going to happen now? Since Trick Clown was sent to the graveyard, you're going to activate Trick Clown's effect to pay a thousand light points to special summon Trick Clown itself. And once you play a thousand light points, Heroic Challenger Thousand Blade is going to activate the trigger of its effect to special summon itself from the graveyard. So now you have two level four monsters on the board. Make these, okay? There you go. And you have a one card Minerva. And you still have an additional normal summon of Seraphonite's effect, uh, which is really awesome. So you have cards like, like Minerva in your hand. You can just normal summon Minerva, make an Omega, and then you just basically just go ham from there. But uh, yeah, you have Minerva off just one card, which is absolutely insane. So it's just, this is why Orphid Scorpio is so good. You have access to this card. Uh, instantly and you have an additional normal summon as well if you guys made it to the end of the video i want you guys to hashtag in the comment section below light sworn master race hashtag that in the comment section below so i know you guys made it to the end of the video that'll be absolutely amazing guys thank you guys so much for watching and this is sam from team channel sam signing out if you guys want to see a light sworn zombie deck profile make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button thank you guys so much for watching and this is sam from team channel sam signing out all right guys peace friends and family do it for the friends of the family uh friends of the family for the friends of the family, who else? Friends of the family, do it for the friends of the family, uh, friends of the family, you don't know them, you don't know me, man.